Alright, what's up dudes? Today we're going to be playing some World at War, and as you can tell, I moved the position of the webcam just to kind of change it up, and I think it looks better, so we're just going to hop into some World at War. I haven't uploaded this game to my channel, and as you can tell, I'm a low level, and I haven't really played it too much, so this should be uh, fucking terrible, but aren't all my videos? Wow, look at all those low levels. I feel at home. I kind of wish that I was a high level on this game, just so I could have uh, the last sniper or... Oh yeah, I forgot about this lovely feature that they implemented. They don't tell you that you don't have the map. Like, they'll put you in the lobby with the map that you don't have until it starts. Then they'll throw you out of it and take you to the screen to buy the map pack. Fucking beautiful. I don't have any of the maps, so I get thrown out of a lot of lobbies. Hopefully there aren't any modders in this lobby either. Seems like a lot of people are like putting on the god mode and stuff in this game, which I don't really see the point of. I think it ruins the game and it, it just makes it boring. Like, what's the point of even playing like a first person shooter if you can't be killed? Like, what, what the fuck's the point? We'll see what we can do with the Springfield, my favorite sniper rifle of all time. Even more so than the 50 cal or the intervention. I absolutely love the Springfield. It is just an amazing rifle. I hope. I know there probably won't be like uh, the Springfield and uh, Call of Duty World at War, obviously, but um, World at War Advanced Warfare, obviously. Is this guy unkillable? But uh. I hope they do something like where they make it to where they bring in like a DLC with old school weapons, like old school DLC or you know call it something like that. So that would be really fucking awesome. I believe this is the only Call of Duty that the Springfield has been in. I, I don't know about uh, Call of Duty 2 or 1 or any of the other Call of Duties. I know it wasn't, I don't believe it was in Call of Duty 3, I own Call of Duty 3 and uh, I didn't, I don't remember seeing it so. That was a nice no scope. This guy's just running around with nothing but flamethrower. I know there are like tactics to not get killed in this game, like snaking and shit like that. Like becoming some sort of animal. But I don't I don't know any of that shit. I'm a traditional sniper, I s snipe regular, I don't try to implement any stupid like tactics. It's where the enemy can't kill me. I don't jump shot, I don't want to scuff, I don't drop shot, none of that shit. I'm very traditional. I if you catch me when I'm you know, when I miss a shot or anything like that, you then you got me. You're you're not gonna see any jump shotting or bullshit from me. Looks like they're running in a pack of three. Looks like this guy's just jump shotting and trying his heart out, which is fine if, if you want to, you know, like, get a great record on World at War, I'm not gonna, like, judge you or whatever, but who the fuck cares, to be honest? I don't give a fuck. You could tell me I have a 5.0 KD ratio in this game, and I wouldn't give a flying shit. For some reason, a lot of people think that, like, KD ratio and shit matters, um, I don't know, like... I don't really give a shit about anything on Call of Duty, like, of course I'm gonna be impressed with, like, montages and shit. Like, if you show me you made an amazing montage, I'll be like, oh yeah, you're, you're a good sniper. Shit like that, you're really consistent. But as far as, like, KD ratio, I don't give a flying fuck. Like, you could have, like, like I said, like a 5.0. You could play the shittiest players on Earth to get that 5.0. I don't fucking care. You could fucking own like six scuffs and jump around corners and throw all the stun grenades that you have and shit like that to get a 5.0 KD ratio. I don't give a shit. I'll never know why people like care all that much about it. it. Like at the end of the day, we're just playing Call of Duty. We're just shooting each other. Like, look at me like trying to have like an emotional moment. But like, it, it's 
just, it's all pointless. Like, all the hate, all the, like, judging, all the name calling, everything like that. It's just, at the end of the day, we're just playing Call of Duty on an Xbox. None of it really matters. The only time that it really matters is when you bring money into it, which the casual Call of Duty player obviously does not make any money. They're not going to tournaments. They're not making YouTube videos. As far as I, as far as I know, you might be making, like, 20 Call of Duty videos with your red gunning, and that's that's completely fine. You have the ability to upload and do whatever you want. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, as far as like the comments and shit like that, I'm terrible. This guy's gonna, nope. Just as far as like leaving bad comments and going into pregame lobby and sending messages and telling people they're terrible and to kill themselves and stuff like that, it's just it's all pointless. And I just, I really wish that we could all get along once in a while, you know? Just find common ground with with the other players and, you know, realize that you are all just playing Call of Duty together. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day.